I have created an artificial intelligence tool that you can leverage to help you with your public speaking skills. This artificial intelligence tool is known as a GPT. You've probably heard of ChatGPT, which is led by OpenAI. And last fall, they opened up the functionality to build these custom GPTs for various purposes. So I'm going to walk you through the one that I built, which is called Public Speaking Coach, and I'm going to show you how it works. So on your screen, you can see the GPT I referred to. It's called Public Speaking Coach, and this is how it works. You go to the link, which is in the video description, and there's a few prompts that are already at the bottom to help you get started. These are some of the most common questions I hear that people have with regard to public speaking. So let's go ahead and choose one of these questions. How do I start my speech? So I click that and ChatGPT is going to answer it through this public speaking coach GPT. And in order to build this, I was feeding ChatGPT a lot of my own information about my best tips and advice when it comes to public speaking, but it's also combining its knowledge and its intelligence and what it knows about public speaking because obviously I don't know the answers to everything. So ChatGPT incorporates my feedback but then also does its own sourcing to give you the best answer possible. And so here you can see it's already answered my question and it gives some really good suggestions. It says you can start a speech by telling a story. I've spoken about that recently. I did a video called Hook Your Audience and that is one of the concepts I give is to jump headfirst into a story. You can ask a question, share a surprising fact or statistic. These are literally all things I included in my previous video. You can use a quote, a direct address, or a visual image. So it's pretty cool to see the ideas that are generated by ChatGPT through this custom GPT, and these are all things that I would agree with. So if I go back to public speaking coach, another very common question that is asked is, I get nervous speaking, help. What should I do, public speaking coach? What should I do if I get nervous? So you can see already it's answering my question, which is one of the most common questions people get because we know public speaking is such a great fear for people. And it's giving some really great answers. It's talking about using breathing techniques to calm yourself down. Positive vis visualization. I talk about this all the time, how powerful it is to stand on the stage before you actually give your speech and look out, even if it's just empty chairs before the audience has showed up, start looking out there, envision what it's going to be like. It talks about practice. Those of you who are friends of the channel know I talk about practicing public speaking all the time. It's probably the most important thing you can do to improve your skills as a public speaker. And you focus on your message, not yourself. So why am I doing this? Why am I bringing this to the audience? All of these tips, again, are so incredibly great. But you may be thinking, okay, that's cool, Wade. You've pre-prompted a few questions, such as what's a good closing statement? How can I engage my audience? What if you want to ask something a little bit different? And you can do that through this GPT. So for example, I could say, public speaking coach, how do I incorporate body language effectively in my speech? And public speaking coach will respond here to, in a second. But it talks first and foremost that it's a powerful way to engage the audience. So you practice your open body language. You make eye contact, so incredibly important. Use gestures purposefully. I love this tip because we've talked in the past how when people are trying to force body language, it almost becomes awkward that they're using their hands in these weird ways. Be purposeful. Choose those moments in your speech that you should incorporate body language and then deliver from there. It talks about pausing for an impact movement. And then look at this. There's even an interactive exercise that this GPT is providing you in real time. It talks about preparing a short speech, recording yourself, and then reviewing and reflecting. How could you have made that body language better? So some really awesome tips from this custom GPT. This is one of the first GPTs I've 
personally ever made. I was experimenting last fall, creating a couple different concepts. So I'm sure I have a lot to learn about creating a GPT, but OpenAI has made it pretty simple to do this process. So I'm excited. I'd love to hear your feedback. Go out and try Public Speaking Coach. Let me know what is working well. Is that GPT giving you good advice? This is another relatively free resource I wanted to provide all of you. The relatively is because, of course, you have to have that subscription to ChatGPT. But I think that this is a huge productivity tool that most people can benefit from. So all of you who are ChatGPT users, go try out this custom GPT I've made called Public Speaking Coach. Let me know if it was helpful.